Hi guys this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music in this bass guitar lesson we are going to explore and learn the incredible bass riff from the song Good Times by the band Chick from the album Risk an incredible song an incredible album you should check it out if you like R&B funk and all of that stuff wow incredible bass lines and phenomenal chord progression songwriting and so on and so forth So it's a very common bass line I hear a lot of my bandmates playing it so I ended up transcribing it and here goes uh, it's just two chords pretty much it's on E E minor 7th so that's E G B D and the second chord will be an A chord the way it's being played is it's like a G over A or an A 13th chord or uh, you could or you could say A 11th chord that makes this whole thing into an e dorian vibe so an e minor 7 going into an a a chord or an g over a chord so very dorian you can see our notes where we've notated all this the bass lines are also tabbed out for you to learn and also the hit points of each of the notes which are played before we get cracking it'll be great if you could consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell icon for regular notifications let's get cracking so we start with four hits of e almost like another one bites the dust if you think about it it's just on the 1e and a 2e and a 3 and by the way before i go any further we are dividing the beat into four units and playing straight so that's 16th notes for you so that will be counted as 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a like this 2e and a 3e and a a good way to start would kind of be this actually 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a and maybe an a Four one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three. There we go. Two e and a three and. Okay, now that you got the pulse with the one e and a two e and a and so on, let's actually get the bass line. So we go three e's at one, two, and three. And you want to choke it, play it very staccato, so you don't want to do. want to choke it so you could choke it with your left hand or you could even choke it with your right hand with the alternating picking fingers i like a combo of both so it doesn't give out any weird harmonics similarly a or now the challenge if you fret a note and then you want to do staccato is you can't do it with your left hand you can then only rely on your right hand pretty much or your picking hand to get you a nice staccato so be aware of doing both versions so maybe that's a good exercise just do staccato e staccato a cuz you need this vibe to play the riff also try and open it out just as a practice at the end so to staccato i'm actually muting with the other with the other finger or not muting then it'll be legato there we go coming back to the riff now so i'll play you the first bar Okay, let's walk walk ourselves through that. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a e and one e and. So to count this or to understand where the hits are, you go one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. Okay, the first three are on beat. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. While the fourth e will be at the e of the four. One e and a two e and a three. E. Four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and four E and a. Okay, so that's a nice Dorian climb. You can play it in a couple of ways. At least I do. So let's do that again very slowly. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. So that A chord, which is like in 
A7 or G over A will have its occurrence or its first hit point not at the 1 of bar 3 but at the A uh of bar 2 of the 4 A, uh, right? So it anticipates. We call this as rhythmic anticipation. I have a nice video explaining the theory and a, with a lot of examples on rhythmic anticipation which we leave in the description. So you go E, 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 F sharp G, A, B, C sharp D, E, A. Now you could play it. You could play it this way. Just follow the, the string and the fret movements. Pa, pa, da. I'm just showing you the climb. The first three notes are obvious. Pa, 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 open E. Pa, 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 da, pa, 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 so that's pam 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 b c sharp d e now to go from pa pa ram pam pa b c sharp d e i'm just moving my shape my whole hand that's a bit easy for me pa pam 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 pa pam because that allows me to play a on the e string so pam pa ram pam 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 pa ram pam Pum. Okay. Pum, pa, pum, pum. And you then do three A's. So pum, pa, dum, pum, 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 pa, da. there's an open A. E, F sharp, G, minor third, A, B, C sharp, D, E, A. And you need to hit that A very quickly uh, or preceding the bar, bar number three. Again. Bum, bum. And then the next two A's are on the one, two, and three, and now. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Now, how do we do that? Bum, ba, da, ba, bum, bum, bum. Now, I like to play that with an open A, but you can even play it with a fretted A. Bum, ba, bum, bum. I prefer open A there. Pam pa da ba ba ba. Pam pa de ba de ba. Pam pam. Okay. Pam pa. Pam pa de. Let's get that together. Pam pam pam. Pam pa de ba ba ba. Pam pam. So again, I'll break that down for you in terms of hits. Pam pa da. Pam 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 pa da. So it starts at the E uh of the four, ba, four uh, and then the E, bum, ba, de, ba, be, bum, ba, de, ba, uh, an extra open you need to play. Bum, ba, de, ba, 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 bum. Bum, ba, de, ba. And it ends with ba, da, ba, da, ba. So E B open E fret it B ba, da, ba, da. Now you could slide up to give you a more lighter G, which I think is that's what it is in the song, or maybe it's maybe it's a bend or something. Nevertheless, the G is a bit of a kind of a silent passenger. So you could either do hammer, slide, or just like a random bend. Either which way sounds cool, I guess. You could look at that as an exercise on your own. So start with hammer, then slide, and then bend. Okay, that's the end. So let's break down the whole thing very slowly. One more time. Right, guys, so that was good times, very popular bass line. Look at the notation where you can figure out the exact hit points of the beats. 
Uh, for example, while I was playing throughout the lesson, I kept saying one E and a two E and a three. It's a bit tricky to count it and play at the same time. Maybe tough for you to also follow unless you have some kind of a visual cue. So you have my handwritten notes. You have the uh, notation as well, which is downloadable as a PDF on Patreon. Do consider giving that a check and learning it that way. The tabs are also available along superimposed with a notation. So... That's about good times, the bass riff. And if you want to learn more bass riffs like this on our channel and more bass guitar concepts or bass concepts in general, you need to subscribe to our channel now. Thanks for watching the video thus far, but even more thanks if you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for regular notifications. And there's a playlist waiting for you in our description which shows you all of our bass guitar uh, riffs and licks and lessons where you cover some of the more popular stuff with all the fingering and the relevant theory, right? So happy learning. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.